Hey everyone, it is Monday night and I'm Andrea, which means it's time for What's Up Ocala. Oh, it has been a few weeks since I've been able to do one of these Monday night What's Up Ocala videos. Um, first we had NARPM, which is the National Association of Residential Property Managers. It was the state conference, so I went to that. Um, and then I got the flu, which knocked me for a loop. I'm not even joking. This, I thought I for sure had the Rona because I was like, this is nasty. Um, but no, it wasn't. I checked. It wasn't. It was just the flu. It was just, oh, whew, not fun. Anyway, so I'm doing better now. All good. Um, I've been trying to keep up with everything and but yeah, talking to you guys for a long period of time without coughing and stuff, that was like a little beyond me there for a bit. So anyway, I'm back now. All good. Got my water right here. So it was uh, a little brutal, but <laughs> we made it through. So hopefully I still have all you guys watching my silly little videos and um, hopefully you're still there. Um, but yeah, I had to take a couple of weeks off just because of so much stuff going around. And then today I'm like, okay, we got this. We're going to go ahead and do a fun video and talk about the updates and blah, blah, blah. No, we have a hurricane. We have a hurricane coming. Um, so we weren't really sure if it was coming up anywhere near us or if it was going up elsewhere or whatever, but it looks like it is kind of heading into Tampa at this point. So, um, yeah, I mean, it'll eventually get over to us. We'll probably get some, you know, pretty heavy rain and, um, some wind. We really don't get too much here in Marion County because by the time it gets to us, it's kind of, you know, pittered out basically. Um, but this one, it looks like it's really, you know, growing. So we'll see. I mean, it's better to be prepared than not. Um, by that, I mean, pick up your lawn ornaments, make sure that you, you know, anything that blows away, we're going to have some winds. Make sure that your tree limbs are all limbed up, you know, nothing overhanging the house. I mean, hopefully you've done all of that kind of stuff before now, but just saying. Um, what's another thing is maybe just in case we lose power for an extended period of time, fill up some gallon jugs of water, toss them in the freezer, leave a little bit of room because ice is takes more room than water. So if you have a gallon jug of water, go ahead and, you know, pour some out and then put those in the freezer. Um, I actually have like a harder, hardier plastic um, instead of like a milk jug or water jug plastic. I actually use these other ones. I don't actually use it for hurricane status. I use it for camping. Um, so those are already in my freezer. I have like four one gallon jugs with a little bit of water poured off of them. Uh, so, you know, instead of having to buy ice every time and, you know, going through all of that, then everything's like swimming in ice and it's just gross. Um, I just put the gallon jugs in there and I'm good to go. And it seems to last a lot longer as well. So, um, that was actually my friend Ingrid. She told me about that. I'm like, Oh, that's a really good idea. And I've been using it ever since. Anyway. Um, so, and then again, pick up your lawn ornaments, pick up, you know, any of your lawn furniture, anything like that. Um, your trash cans, <laughs> you definitely want to pick up your trash cans, put those in the garage, you know, just stuff like that. Um, so just real basic stuff. Uh, like I said, we don't really get like the hurricane force winds. We don't get, um, the, the swells in the ocean. We're way too far inland for any of that kind of stuff, but we will get some, it's going to be like I don't know, a really strong thunderstorm essentially that lasts a while. So uh, we will get rain. Um, most of Marion County is pretty high and dry. So we really don't get too much as far as like flooding and stuff. But if you have like bad grading on your house or, you know, cause sometimes the houses are like lower than the road, which is just bizarre to be. But if that's your case, go ahead and get some um, sandbags and get those. I mean, honestly, you can, everybody goes like crazy to go and pick up sandbags. Dude, sand is in your yard. Okay. You don't have to run to the store to buy water. Your sink functions. Um, the sandbags, you just, all you need is the bag. I mean, use a trash bag if you want. I mean, these are just, it's just to prevent water intrusion. So yeah. Dig a hole. You got sand in your yard. I mean, it's Florida. 
I don't know, everybody freaks out and they think they have to do certain things a certain way. And it's like, no, you can think outside the box a little bit. The box is not that complicated. Um, good God, go to a thrift store and get some pillowcases and fill those up with sand. I mean, it's essentially the same thing, okay? I don't know. Everybody just goes absolutely nuts. Um, they buy like 50 pound bags of dog food for their like chihuahua and it's just there's no need for all of that okay uh we've seen hurricanes before many times many 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 times um that it's not anything new for florida we are kind of you know this weird landmass right in the middle of the ocean got ocean on both sides so we're going to have hurricanes hit the state um, I did hear that in Tampa, they're going to have to evacuate, which again, they're on the beach. They're on, you know, that's, it's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of water there. So yeah, I can understand that. But Marion County is basically where they evacuate to. So yeah. Anyway, um, schools I heard just closed for Wednesday and Thursday. Um, and then my daughter's school is closed on Tuesday as well because it's an emergency shelter. So she's supposed to be doing homeschool, which is kind of funny because she already does homeschool and she only goes in for her electives. So I'm like, well, great. You've just got extra time to do more homeschool. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so that is what is going on this week. All sorts of excitement and fun. But yeah, everybody's talking about, oh, you know, People are like stockpiling water and stuff. It's water. I happen to know where there are several, several artesian springs that pump out millions of gallons of water like every day. Uh, Rainbow Springs, Silver Springs, um, Alexander Springs, Salt Springs. That one's a little salty. I wouldn't know about that one. But anyway, there's springs all over. You're not going to be without water, okay? Like, take it down a notch, okay? Yes, be prepared. Make sure you have some flashlights. If you have a generator, you know, get some gas for your generator. But don't, don't. This is not a panic situation, okay? Just let's all take it down a notch, you know, take a chill. It's okay. It'll be okay. And you Floridians that have been here for a while, y'all know better. Y'all know better. I know full well there is probably 50 reusable water bottles in your cabinets right now. Go dust them off, find the lids, fill them up with water from the sink, and go put them in your freezer. Okay? You don't need to go over to the Walmart and, like, you know, sit there and, you know, go, you know, yeah. No, there's no reason for that. Y'all should know better. Okay? That's for the newbies that are panicking. Okay? All right. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Don't, don't. Anyway. All right. We're going to get off that. I'm watching you. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are we talking about today besides Ian? Is it Ian? We have Hurricane Ian. That doesn't sound very scary. I'm sorry, Ian's. If there's a lot of Ian's out there, I'm sorry, but that's just really not. It needs to be like Brutus or something like that. And then it's like truly terrifying. Ian. Ian. He sounds like a guy you'd want to introduce to your parents. Like, okay. Anyway. All right. Let's talk about market watch. What is going on in real estate this week? I had to adjust this. Hold on. It feels like I'm sinking down. Okay. There we go. Better? Is it better? I hope it's better. Anyway. Um, this week, the last seven days, we had 230 new listings. We had 25 price increases and we had 285 price decreases. That has been pretty consistent for the last six weeks or so, maybe even going on as far as two months. Um, it's actually down a little bit this week. Last week, I was 313 price decreases. So way more houses are decreasing their price than houses are coming on the market. Uh, so that's actually a good thing. The Fed went ahead and raised interest rates again. Um, I didn't really think we needed that, but okay, sure. Um, you know, a speed bump is one thing. A full stop is totally another. So if we could, uh, you know, just like, all right, we're good. Okay, we're just going to stay right here. Okay, right? Let's hope. Um, 
But yeah, house prices are definitely falling because people are not able to purchase as much house as they were able to before. Um, people are having a little bit harder time selling their homes. So they are still selling though. We had um, 204 went pending um, and we had 190 that closed. So closed, there's a difference between closed and pending. Pending is when a buyer comes in with a contract, makes an offer, and both the buyer and seller sign the contract, and they're just waiting for like the home inspection, um, financing, appraisal, stuff like that to go through. Closed means that the seller got the money, the buyer got the keys, it's closed, it's done, full separate, okay? So yeah, if you are having a house pending, that is how many people are... Um, are actually under contract. Those houses have come off the market. They're no longer available for sale, but they're not actually closed yet. And they may come back up on the market. Speaking of, we had 72 houses come back on the market in the last seven days. So that's, that's a lot, actually. That's quite a few. Um, that's actually up quite a bit. So um, there are a lot of people that are walking away from those deals, either because their financing didn't go through or because they just couldn't handle that hike in interest if they hadn't gotten their rates locked in. Um, there's just, there's a lot of things where maybe the house just, you know, maybe it needed a new roof and they couldn't get uh, insurance. Right now, because we have Ian, Ian that wants to meet your parents, um, he's hanging out down in the ocean really close to Florida. So it's really going to be almost next to near impossible to get uh, your insurance right now on your home. Yeah, so if you were in contract, were or are in contract for a house, and there is a hurricane in the horizon, you're not going to be able to get homeowner's insurance until the storm has passed. So um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a little bit fewer closings next week. Um, some of the banks may be closed. There's going to be like closings are just going to have to hold off a little bit. Um, that's actually really normal. We're very, very used to it. In fact, there's even something in our contracts that says, you know, if it's something because of, you know, it's called an act of God, if something like that, like a hurricane comes up, um, the contract gets put on hold for up to two weeks. Um, and that's in, you know, the realtors contracts that, that we use all the time. Um, so we're actually already prepared for that in the contracts because stuff does happen. Um, the only time I've ever utilized that clause, by the way, was not anything to do with Florida. Um, the seller hat was up in New York and she had a blizzard and the FedEx driver was trying to get the documents that she signed um, and they couldn't get up her driveway. It was like this really, really long, like snowed in driveway. And she's like, this is going to have to wait until a thaw. I don't know what to tell you. So we did, it took us about a week to get the documents. So we actually still use that same clause. It's, it was an act of God, it was a blizzard. I mean, there was literally no way to get the documents and we needed, um, they call it a wet signature. That's where you actually use ink instead of uh, computer signing. So it was, it's kind of funny. It's been a few years now, obviously, but um, I think it was up in Buffalo, New York where, where she was just completely snowed in. She's like, ah, I'm used to it, but you know, Sorry about the closing being delayed. And I'm like, we'll get there when we get there. That's okay. There's a clause in the contract for that. <laughs> like, what do you do, right? All right. Anyway, we're probably going to see some of those delays because either they're not going to be able to get insurance. And if you can't get insurance, you can't get a loan. Um, or because the banks are going to be closed or whatever else. We're just, the title companies will be closed. Closings are going to be delayed. So next week, we're going to see some different kind of numbers, but that's expected and normal for a hurricane type situation. <clears throat> All right. We also had, let's see, 42 canceled transactions. So what this was, was there were 42 houses on the market where the sellers were like, you know what? This is just not going as I expected. I'm taking it and canceling this contract. Either they didn't like the realtor or um, they didn't like the market or whatever situation, they went ahead and canceled the contract. So 42, that's quite a lot. That's a lot, right? Hmm. All right, let's move on. Now, we do have 
fun stuff going on in Ocala. <sighs> and I have to pull it up because I didn't yet. Ah! Ocala, fun things to do. Here we go. I have this on my computer so I can keep updating it. Oh no, wait, no, that's not right. I really hope I did not. It has my house cleaning list. I hope I did not go over that. There we go. Oh, I was so scared that my house lead and my house cleaning to-do list got overwritten over top of my, oh my goodness, that would have been so bad. Oh. <clears throat> okay, fun stuff to do. So we are coming up to October. Ah, it's the burr months. I love the burr months. All right, so we, of course, still have Homeschool Wednesdays, aside from this week, um, where the classes are held at Brook City Adventure Park, and it's basically like, um, sometimes they have art, sometimes they have science, they have all sorts of stuff, and you can basically um, have your kids do like PE as a group with other homeschool kids. Um, you just go in for whatever classes you want them to take, and then you go on your way. It's actually really cool. It's also a good opportunity for you to meet other homeschooling parents um, within the area. So, you know, you can share resources and stuff like that, your methods, or just get some support. It's kind of nice. Okay, what else is going on? We have, let's see. Ah, okay, sorry, I had to sneeze. So I was like, what do I do? What do I do? Ah, so I just turned it off. Okay, anyway, I'm good now. Um, okay, so we have this weekend, October 1st, we have the Oktoberfest over at the World Equestrian Center. I was hoping to go last weekend, but it was just, oh, we had so much going on. Um, absolutely mayhem. So, um, since I missed it last weekend, I'm going to go ahead and go to it, um, on Saturday. So that should be really cool. All right. Let me go ahead and share what else is going on. Um, Brown's Market also has junk in the trunk. That's where you drive up with your car or truck or van or whatever. And you pay like 15, 20 bucks, depending on the size of your vehicle. Um, and then you get that space. And there's just like hundreds of people and cars and there's food trucks. It is so much fun. So much fun. Whether you're going there to actually buy stuff from the garage sales type situation, or if you are just trying to sell stuff or whatever, it is just, it's a blast. Um, there's some really good deals, really fun people, um, lots of interesting stuff. Um, it's just a really great way to spend a morning, truthfully. Uh, but that junk in the trunk is going to be from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. So really, you just, you got to try it. It's down on uh, Highway 301, um, down in Oxford. It's kind of down by the villages, but yeah, Brown's Market. I mean, you'll, you'll see it. They have a Facebook page and everything. It's Brown's Country Market. Um, over at Scott Springs State Park on the 1st, which is Saturday, from 9 a.m. to 10 15, they're going to be talking about the Black Bears, the Florida Black Bears, and just learning about that. It's a free activity, and um, kids are um, included and um, encouraged to come. Um, but yeah, it's, can you solve the black bear mystery? Come and learn all about Florida black bears and, um, you'll learn with our bear mystery box. Isn't that so fun? Anyway, that's at Scott Springs State Park. So that's really actually very close to like Easy Street and all of that. There's like the Walmart. It's kind of like back behind the Walmart if you're, if you know the area. Anyway, uh, World Equestrian Center from noon to 8 p.m. They've got the Oktoberfest, which is really cool. You can get a beer stein and all sorts of stuff. Should be really fun. Um, over at the Fort, the Fort King National Landmark, um, they are going to be doing from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Sorry, that's the 8th and the 9th. <coughs> this cough is killing me. I'm not even joking. It's just, ah, anyway. So that's going to be the eighth and ninth. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening um, the following weekend. This is like just kind of starting up. And I wasn't really sure how many things this week are going to get um, canceled. I will say there is a hurricane party over at the Keep downtown. If you want details about that, feel free to go to their Facebook page. 
I thought that was pretty freaking hilarious, but that's just me. So feel free to go check out The Keep downtown and find out all about their hurricane party. <clears throat> I thought it was funny. I don't know. Um, I think the rest of it, I'm just going to have to save for later because, yeah, there's just so much stuff, but I don't know which stuff's going to be canceled. The thing tomorrow that was supposed to be at the paddock ball that got canceled. So for all of our new people moving to the area and the resources and everything, I'm so sorry, but that got canceled. Um, so that will not be happening tomorrow, but I will keep you updated on any changes that happen. But it does look like the stuff for this weekend is still going on. So Browns Country Market going and checking out the junk in the trunk. Um, the Florida Black Bears over at Scott Springs Park. Got Scott's Springs Park. Um, that is from 9 a.m. to 10.15 and totally free. And the Oktoberfest over at the World Equestrian Center in Expo Center 1. Those are all, as far as I know, still going on. So please feel free to stop in and check that out. All right. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or otherwise, please hit me up online. Our email address is ger.expectmore at gmail.com. We love hearing from you guys. Okay. Please send me an email at ger.expectmore at gmail.com and we'll make sure that we help each and every one of you and answer any and all questions you have. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad I'm back in the saddle and ready to have more great videos coming out. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.